This is Adam with Success in Fundraising. We had kicked off a giveaway about a week ago, and we said we'd do a live video for the drawing. And so here we are. And we're kind of excited to share this information with you because it's information that not everybody knows, but it's a, it's a little bit interesting, and especially with the results we got this time. So it was really fun. So I really thank everybody for uh, submitting your guess for what, is our top, what was our top seller last year. And so the popular vote turned out like this. We had roughly 100 entries uh, that we counted, and over half voted for strawberry and cream cheese, which uh, is an excellent seller. So we'll have to see. Uh, then caramel rolls, raspberry, cherry, and blueberry had a tie. And so that was right in the middle. Then we had apple, cinnamon, and one vote for four cheese and herb. So thank you all for voting. Now, let's see, I have art sellers, let's see, all right, success in fundraising, 2018, these are the percentage of total sales here, these are in order, uh, top to bottom, as far as how well each one did, so, by quite a ways, caramel rolls, our top seller. Then we have strawberry, then four cheese and herb, blueberry, raspberry, cinnamon, apple, and cherry. And so, maybe a little bit different. I would say a few years ago, after strawberry was first uh, put out and made available, it went to the top and it stayed there until a couple years ago when we put out caramel rolls. And even then, four cheese, when it rolled out that fall, it overshadowed caramel rolls for a couple seasons. And now four cheese has slowly been drifting down. Caramel rolls overtook it pretty quick and just this last fall strawberry overtook uh, four cheese and herb as well. So kind of interesting and so I know uh, one thing is is some of the group leaders have a little bit of an advantage because I often share that and when they enter the values they if they look at all at uh, at the numbers they, they have a feeling how their group individual groups do. But another interesting bit of information is these numbers here, uh, that's the national sales of butterbread pastries around the United States. So number one in the nation, strawberry and cream cheese. Two is cinnamon, three is apple, four is four cheese, and five is blueberry. And so that's the top five in the country. Realize not all dealers carry the same stuff and they don't all carry all the products. So that can affect it. That's why caramel rolls is probably lower in that running, but it's to me it's interesting how each area has a different uh, top seller. For a long time cinnamon was always at the top nationally and for us it's always been in the bottom three for the most part uh, or a lot of the time. Maybe early on it was a little bit higher but it, uh, lately it has been about there. So uh, so now we know Caramel Rolls is a, was our top seller for 2018 and so we had about 12 people who guessed Caramel Rolls so I'm going to have one of my sons come in. Hi, my name is William and I am seven. So William brought up this fabulous bowl. And so we're using this bowl because it's really cool. My brother Lance, who is uh, Frank and Doris's middle child, is a uh, art professor and he dabbles in ceramics. So this was actually a Christmas present only a couple months ago from my brother. And so I think it's really cool, and it has all kinds of neat colors, but it also has our entries in the bowl. So William is here. Why don't you stir him up a little bit? Pick out the, the winning name. Did you get one? Okay. All right. All righty. Says Heather Erickson. So... Thank you for submitting your guess, Heather. You're right with caramel rolls, and we chose you as our winner. And so Heather's going to get her choice of a case of pastries. So six pastries, her choice of flavors. And uh, so, yeah, really cool. And we'll probably be starting another giveaway soon. We think it's, uh, it's just a fun way to connect with everybody, and we love to give out pastries and share what we have with all of you. And just one little shout out, and you're going to see it a lot more on social media, but this spring is our 15th spring, 
And so Frank and Doris, 15 years ago, ran their first spring fundraisers. And uh, you'll hear more about that on Facebook and possibly in the emails as well. So thank you all for entering. Keep a close eye for the next giveaway that we might have. And congratulations again to Heather Erickson. And we, we just thank you for everything and have a great week. We'll see you next time.